What's up, internet? My name's Nerdy. And I'm Clarice. We got the second episode of Falcon in Winter Soldier. We get Nerdy Nightly. We thought we'd share it with you. Yeah. Racism. That's it. That's the that's the that's spoiler that's chat. The, Thank that's you the for tweet. being here. That's the tweet. That's um, the tweet. It feels. I, I just wanted to say that first because it. The, the, I want to be very clear. This episode, even more so than the first episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier, really brought the the race issue of this show to the forefront. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to acknowledge that we are two very very white privileged people. Yep. So speaking on that is not going to be our forte. Um, no. But uh, it but is. But we're a, not going to pretend it's not there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, and um, it is, I really enjoyed the first episode of this series, mm -hmm. but I didn't quite love it. I, it didn't, you know, I, I, I was, it, it felt like the first episode of something and I was excited for more, but I didn't know what like the, I didn't know what the subtext of the show was going to be. It was yet. a good pilot. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, I, I want to say right up front how much I admire this show for, for tackling that subject. Yeah. Um, and for diving headfirst into it, because I think that you cannot tell the story of the Falcon without talking about race in America and what mm -hmm. it means to be an African American serving America in the military. Yep. Um, and what the, you know, what the, I, I, I don't even have the right language for it, I think, but um, just what that means to him and how that would look. And especially as we are in the middle of a huge race debate in the United States. Yeah. Um, and going into the show, I, I wasn't sure that Marvel was, that that was the direction they were going to go. I didn't, I wasn't, you know, it, it, it's a heavy topic for a superhero show where one guy has wings and one guy has a metal arm. Yeah. Um, but I, I really, I'm, now, now that we've seen that that is what the show is going to talk about and that that is what the show is diving into... I I love this show and I'm so grateful yeah. for it. Yeah. Um and I am so um I, I feel like it's going to be a much more important show than it would have been if it was just the cool show with the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Totally. Um, I think this makes it so much more important and so much more relevant. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of when 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 artists create art, sometimes they're asked, you know, why now? Mm -hmm. And it it's it's such a um, it's such an important thing that we need to keep in the forefront of our minds um, and in our discussions mm -hmm. nowadays because it's so prevalent. Um, I think that it's um, I think it's really great of Marvel to be able to do what they can do and do it in a medium that's accessible to everybody. Mm -hmm. You can you know you can talk about it on the news all you want. You can write articles about it on the internet, but in like infusing these stories into our art mm -hmm. make them so much more relatable and easier to understand for you know people who kind of get fatigued by the um uh by, by like the clinicalness of like the news mm -hmm. in a sense and i i think um i think these are the stories that need to be told and though if we can tell them through different mediums like a superhero show yeah. that's amazing yeah and i i think you know especially the 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 sequence that Really, like, there's a great action sequence in this, um, on the trucks it's with the flag fantastic. smashers. It's a fantastic action sequence. But the scene, the two scenes in this movie, or in this episode, it, this show feels like a movie. Uh, the two scenes in this episode that really stick out to me are, this is full spoilers, by the way, so full spoiler, spoiler chat. chat. Yeah. Uh, the scene with Isaiah, um, the black yeah. Captain America, who yeah. is from the comics. Like, that, that is a comic book storyline. Uh, the younger man in that scene, I believe, um, could one day be Patriot. Who is the young Captain America on the Young Avengers in the um, okay, uh, okay in the comics? Uh, so if they do end up going with like a Young Avengers kind of storyline, that would be our Patriot, and he looks great. He would be yeah. a great Patriot. I'd love to see that. Um, but um, the scene with Isaiah was so poignant. Um, yeah, because it, it it is a real comic book storyline. He does go to jail for assuming the identity of Captain America to save people's lives in the comics, um, uh, because he is a super soldier and he can. Yeah. Um, and it is a it is a real world storyline that we, uh, not we, but but the American military was happy to use black bodies for war and mm -hmm. was ha was was more than willing to let them sign up to fight um, and did, did did not do a good job taking care of them when they came back. And granted, you know, there's a lot to be said about how we take care of our soldiers when they come back. But yep. Um, particularly the the black people who fought and died for the country. They did not receive the same homecoming 
that mm. their white counterparts did. Yeah. Um, and the fact that the show is tackling that, I think, was was really, really powerful and yeah. hit hard. And then to follow that up with the scene with Bucky and Sam in the street with the cops. With the cops? Yeah, that one, yeah. That 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 stood out. Like, mm-hmm. I feel like yeah, that's the part of the show that I remember the most vividly. Because mm-hmm. um, it just, it made me nervous. And it was powerful, right? Like, this is the reality for people who don't look like us. Let's just be honest about it. Like, yeah. I, I will never be in that position. And yeah, we're like two of the whitest people that exist. You're I, almost translucent. Pretty um, much. Uh, and I, I don't know. I I was surprised. Honestly, yeah. like I was like, oh, Marvel's... They're not pulling the punches, which is nice. Well, because the Marvel movies have not really made race a thing, right? No, they, the Marvel <clears throat> movies tend to deal with like bigger than us type problems. Like, yeah. uh, you know, a space mm-hmm. monster destroying the world. Right, like that's kind of the issues. Whereas this is all like this is at home stuff. This is the nitty gritty of it. This, mm-hmm. you know, this is not shying away from the blip and the effects that that has had on people. And like the the it's those um human problems that I think are going to make this show really unique. Yeah, um, I, I said last week in the in the spoiler chat for episode one that I the the stuff that I wasn't excited for was the stuff on the boat in Tennessee. Yeah, um, the family stuff. Because I was just like, it's, it just seems very far away and very isolated from everything else going on. Yeah. And now having seen episode two, I take it back. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I get it now. I get what this show's trying to say. Yeah. And it's saying it surprisingly well. Yeah. Like this show is, this show is working on a level that I, I'm, I'm really surprised by. Because we get introduced to um, uh, the new Captain America and he is your, you know, typical white man. Yeah. Um, just honestly. And... You know, it, it goes back to, you know, the scene with the senator saying that Sam did the right thing by giving the shield back and not taking up the mantle. Um, and then they immediately hand it to a white guy. And it, it, it really, the, the way that the new Captain America is behaving is surprisingly typical. Um, and he's not a bad guy, right? That's the problem. Is he, yeah, he is not like a villain yet i mean we don't know we don't know where this is gonna go but no he seems like a genuine guy who in these moments is like trying to do the right thing the way that he knows how Mm -hmm. and that's to be a soldier you know he was Mm -hmm. very he was um very well not like welcoming but he he wanted to work with bucky and falcon well and they do a really good job in the opening scene by setting up that he has a partner who yeah. he's in an interracial couple, right? Yeah. Uh, and he he has this partner who is a wonderful person. They seem to have a very sweet relationship. Yeah. He's he he like they are trying. They tried so hard at the beginning of the episode to be like, see, he's a good guy too, and it is so interesting that they did that. And they're giving us the typical the the new Captain America is the typical white Captain America with the black sidekick in Hoskins Battle. I am so glad. I'm so glad they name gave him his name Battlestar. Yeah. Um, but. And then on the flip side, we're getting the who should be the new Captain America, right? Sam, with his white counterpart, Bucky. And the system is shunting that, right? The mm-hmm. system is, like, pushing that and being like, ah, no, no, no. We need we need the prototypical. We need the... Yeah. We need the white Captain America with the sidekick. Mm-hmm. And my, my hope, my hope for the direction of the show is that, um, is that, like, that is a main storyline and that this new Captain America... I feel like he might kind of become a little bit of a villain and that, you know, like my hope, obviously moving forward, I don't know really where the show is going to go, but I hope Sam's that... Sam's coming up with the show. Well, but that's what I mean. And I, I, I hope I, th- that, I, I hope that that is supported by this guy. Like, I hope that it, it comes to the point where you, they can actually all work together and they, they do what's right. Here's, here's my thing but with it. I don't, I'm not sure. This new Captain America is a dud, right? Like, what can he do against super soldiers? He has the shield, I guess, and he can throw it, which still doesn't make sense. There is no way a normal human without superpowers can throw and catch a metal disc. And I know, I know what you're saying. It's a third the weight of steel. That's fine. Do you know what a third the weight of steel is? Like, no human being without superpowers, and Sam too, no human being without superpowers can throw and catch that shield. I will stand by that until the day I die. Human beings have to get surgery because they throw baseballs too much. Do you know how heavy a baseball is? That's true. And they're not catching those baseballs on the return and then throwing them again. Here's the thing. There's no way that the new Captain America doesn't have superpowers. He doesn't. He, no, he got he was... his butt. He literally is... 
he got his butt handed to him by the superpowered people. Yo, he he, he was he not even not, a threat no, no, to no. them. He didn't do well, but like they were hitting him, and like if they're super soldiers, like he should have gone flying. He but did. He was able. He got no, kicked he, off the. He, the only thing he was able to do was throw the shield at them. The shield he was able to use against them, but himself he never got hit in. And when he tried to punch Flag Smasher, she grabbed his arm and kicked him off of the sh- the truck. The only thing yes, that he yeah. did was the shield, and like the, and that's that's what's interesting about this, right? That's what the makes new it Captain weird. America is only the shield, yeah, and that he is the shield, and there's a really great, well trained soldier behind it. Well, that's you what have to have make, more than that to be Captain America. That's what doesn't really make sense to me because him the the way he handles that shield, ma- like he looks exactly like how Captain America handles the shield, and that's my problem with it, right? Yeah. The, the sh- they are they're 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 being too the willy nilly with how the shield functions, yeah. as if the shield is like magic, and the shield yeah. isn't magic. Captain America, Steve Rogers was a baller, amazing superhuman who also happened to be the greatest person on the inside, yeah. and that's why he's freaking Captain America. Sam Wilson also has that in him, right? Like Sam Wilson is a good person, and unfortunately, America's racist. And that's what this show is. And I'm, I'm, I obviously, I hate that, like, the real world is the way that it is to make the show that what it is. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, because the world is the way that it is, I'm so happy that the show is telling this story. Because this is so much more interesting. Yeah. Than, than look at how cool Falcon is with the shield. Yeah. I, and honestly, that's what I wanted. I came into this being like, I want Captain America Falcon. I want it to be dope. I want to see some great action sequences, and I want a buddy comedy with um, Winter Soldier. Yeah. And we'll get to that in a second, but this is so much better than that, because yeah. this has purpose, and mm-hmm. this has meaning, and it's this is a deep show that is... that, that, that I mean, like, this is so cool, mm-hmm. right? Like, the fact that Marvel is taking these big swings in a way that they've kind of ignored in the past. They brought in Black Panther, and, like, Black Panther a, a little bit addressed race more than they typically had. But with Rhodey and with Falcon in the past, they've kind of just been, like, you know, in the movies. And, and the yeah, race they issue. skirt around it. Yeah. They don't tackle it head-on like they are now, which is nice to see. Marvel is finally getting into this in a way that I think they, they should. I think that it's important that they do. I, yeah, I think it's very important considering the audience and the platform mm-hmm. and the reach that they have. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Very, very cool stuff. Um, I, I'm so excited for more of the show. But let's get into the buddy comedy of it all because the re- interactions between Falcon and Winter Soldier are stellar. Top tier. Top tier. The Gandalf conversation is hilarious. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I read The Hobbit when it came out. In 1939. Like, I was like, how crazy is it that yeah. we got The Hobbit and um, The Wizard of Oz in the same year? That's wild. Right. Like two of like the the two of the like foundational texts as far as like the future of pop culture. That's so wild. Like a lot of storytelling relates back to those two. Yeah. It's, it's in, you know in Western storytelling for sure. Yeah, there was a lot of influence there. Yeah. Um, but the two of them are so funny together. Yeah, they're great. The therapy scene was great. The worst um, therapist. Yeah. That made it, no sense. Yeah, it was highly uncomfortable and hilarious to watch. And the the two actors are incredible. Mm-hmm. Um, they like they really sell it. They yeah. really sell it. Um. And I'm just really excited for this relationship. Yeah, they, that that scene made things a little bit confusing because they go through the therapy scene and then they're outside talking to the new cap, um, Wyatt Russell, right? And they're talking to him and they're like, "We're free agents." And I'm like, "Wait, but Falcon is working with the government." I'm very confused how they're free agents because all the only thing we've yeah. seen Falcon do so far is work with american soldiers yeah so like i don't know how they're free agents i don't know either that didn't make any sense to me but i was like sure also um last week i mentioned um i still don't know his name but uh the falcon's new sidekick um the american soldier uh he is uh the second falcon in the comics Uh, um right which is really cool i didn't realize it was him yeah. Um, and I'm playing on his name right now, but, uh, he is a great, I, I, I like the actor yeah. and, uh, I'm, I'm really enjoying his character. He's very like gung ho. Yeah. He's like that young, eager guy. Like mm-hmm. he, he, he makes me smile. I'm yeah. nervous that that's going to be gone by the end of the season. Uh, yeah. I hope they keep that. Um, but, um, yeah, Bucky, Bucky, poor Bucky. I know. Bucky can't catch a break. His, his, uh, Sam, um, uh, not Sam. What, what's his, Sebastian Stan. Oh. Um, 
his his delivery of the the line where he's like maybe he was wrong about you and may, maybe that means he was wrong about me was heartbreaking. I know. I was like, oh my god. Sebastian Stan is is a glorious glorious human. Yeah. And and uh, yeah, we're Anthony Mackie and Sebastian Stan are are too good for this world. And we're lucky to have them. Yes, we are. Weekly on our couch for four more weeks. Why is this show only six episodes? I don't know. I think they probably just have a really specific story they want to tell, and I admire that. And it's moving fast. It is moving fast. They are not. They're not taking the foot off the gas. No, they literally were like the the bad guys. The oh god, flag smashers. Flag smashers. I was like the f- I don't know. Um, they were like the 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 lead girl cake. Carly yeah, Morgenthau. Carly. Was like, in the Kate? comics, it's Carl Morgenthau. Oh, and um, so they've yes. gender flipped that. Yeah. So she was like, "I want to make sure you're all in this because after tomorrow, there's no going back." So it feels oh, yeah. like this is happening hard and fast. Well, and you know, cool. we're gonna meet Zemo's gonna be in the next episode. Um, like, I feel like the next episode is gonna be huge, right? Because it's gonna be like the big middle. It'll be the halfway. By the end of next episode, will be the halfway point in the story. Yeah. So. We're, we're in for it. Yeah. We're definitely in for it. Also, interesting to see that Zemo is still in prison as of now. Because we, if, because the trailers and the posters and everything, we know that he gets out. Um, but um, it, it is going to be fun to see... I'm very excited to see um, the tease from the end of the episode. Um, they're going to go see him. Um, I also hope that Isaiah comes back. I hope that's Me not too. the only scene we get with him. I agree. Um, I hope there's more to it than that. Um, I, I, you know what I would love? a flashback to that fight between Winter Soldier and Isaiah. I, I don't think they'll do it. Yeah. But talk about, like, talk about dialogue sounding more interesting than the story currently happening. Yeah, that, yeah. Like, they, That's they the wrote the we coolest want. scene. Yeah. I really want to see Sebastian Stan and a young Isaiah. And I think that actor, I think they aged up that actor a bit. Because I've seen him in stuff recently, and he's not, I mean, he's... I'm not sure. I don't know if he could do it, but um, they sh- they could cast someone. They they could find the right actor to play. Like I want to see that fight sequence. So it's interesting that he ages. He's a super soldier, but Captain America doesn't. Captain America aged though. At the end of um. At the end of uh, Endgame, he's old. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. The only reason he didn't age was because he was in ice. Right. And Bucky didn't age because he was on. They froze him between missions. Right. Yeah. Right? No, you're right. You're right. You're right. So I was like, like they age. They age slightly. I, I believe they age slightly slower than the normal person. Mm-hmm. Um, well, but not he that would much. have been like what a hundred. Yeah. In that scene. So yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because it would have been at least seventy or well, no, if that movie if it takes place in 2020, then it's eighty years since World War Two. Right? Yeah, exactly. So he, um, it, he's World about a hundred years old ish. Um, and who knows, like, he might have been 25, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. he could be well over 100. Um, Cap mm-hmm. is, I think Cap is supposed to be, like, 97 in Endgame. Mm-hmm. And, like, you know, he looks, he looks old, but he's, he's... He's fine. fine. He's moving around yeah. fine. Mm-hmm. Um, so he's, you know, super soldiers age, unless okay. they're frozen repeatedly, like Bucky, or frozen for a long time, like Cap. Yeah. No, you're right. Um, you're 100% right. Yeah, so that's I kind of I just was like, that. wait a yeah. second. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Excited for Isaiah. next week. Disney Plus Day. Yeah. Disney... You know what? Thank you for this one. This 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 show's really cool, and I hope that I hope that people I hope that people are able to look at it beyond the surface of it, mm-hmm. and see the 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 story that's being told here and the importance of the story that's being told here, mm-hmm. because it is. You know, I I was kind of glib at the beginning, um, but I genuinely think that this is an important story, and you know, this is this is how you use a major platform in popular culture Mm -hmm. to tell the right kinds of stories. Yeah. Um, And I'm here for it. I, I'm so, I'm, I, I I was in because it's Marvel and I love this stuff, but I'm, after this episode, I'm, I'm so hooked on this show and I, I, I can't, I can't wait to rewatch this one a few times. Yeah. To, to, to really sit with, to really sit with what is being said about our society. Um, And I hope that other people are able to do that as well. Um, Mm -hmm. I think that. You know, we're in the middle of a racial reckoning in this country that's very important. And I'm, I'm, I'm more, I am more interested in watching pop culture that is, is willing to reference that, you know? I think some of my favorite stuff in the Snyder Cut of Justice League was the cyborg stuff that was pretty honest, I, I, I feel, about, um, a, a certain experience and, um, and did not shy away from that. And I don't want art, I don't want superhero stuff. Superheroes have always been political, I'm sorry, but if you think that, like, comic books aren't political, the first big comic books were because 
we were punching the Nazis. We were literally our yeah. our superheroes Take were punching Hitler <laughs> like... on on the cover. You know what I mean? Honestly, like yeah. that's that's what this stuff is. It's political. Mm -hmm. Yep. Civil War is political. Like yep. these movies have always been political, and and this is the political storylines that we have to be talking about in our art. And I am grateful that Marvel is forcing us to have this conversation. You know what I yeah. mean? Like I'm, I'm I would much rather sit here and do a spoiler chat and talk about race in Falcon and the Winter Soldier mm -hmm. than sit here and be like, did you notice how when he threw the shield at this angle, it bounced off three things, but at this angle, it bounced off two? Like, that stuff's cool, and it's fun, and it's it's superheroes, and it's nerdy, and whatever, but, like, d being able to sit here and go, hey, like, millions of people sat down and empathized with a black man dealing with the police on television this week, and I think that that is important, and that empathy, that, that th those experiences of empathy change people yeah and they make us better and i think that that is the best of what art can be yeah and we need to be more empathetic we need to find more empathy and i am sorry i'm getting a little emotional it's been a tough week it's been a tough week and um i appreciate the art that can allow us to be more empathetic towards people who maybe don't look like us and can show us that the struggle that people are going through is real and it is valid and that we have to be better for each other and we have to show up for each other and we have to have more kindness and more patience and more grace and more care for one another. And it has been a very hard week and this was a very, very welcome, welcome um, hour of my life after that. Mm -hmm. And it was hard to watch. And it was hard to watch for the right reasons. Mm -hmm. And so I am grateful. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for the artists who made this. And for the story that they're telling. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Because it could have been 40 minutes of action and I would have enjoyed it. But this is so much better than that. This mm -hmm. is more important than that. Yeah. It's funny. Out of the two shows, just based off of last week, I would have thought that, you know, WandaVision would have been the more complex, interesting one. Um, but I, I'm not so sure anymore. I think I think yeah. Falcon, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, might be um, might be the much more important story. So I think it, I, I think it already is. Yeah. The WandaVision told a really interesting story about individual people's feelings. Yeah. This is telling a societal story that is very 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 unfortunately topical. Yeah. Um, and it's doing it well, with really really talented actors. Yeah. Like God, Anthony Mackie. His ability to go from funny to dramatic in, like, a head tilt, oh, it's good. He's he's gifted, man. He is a gifted, gifted man. Yeah. Um, it's a good show. Yeah. If you're not watching this, why did you watch our spoiler chat? But watch Falcon Winter Soldier. It's really good. Yeah. yeah. It's really good. It is. It is. Yeah. Thank you for, for, for being here. And, yeah. Um, we, you know, Sorry we, I got emotional. No, you're fine. It's been a tough week. Yeah. We'll be doing this um, every week. Yeah. For for the rest of the episodes. The rest of the episodes will come out on time. We had a 36-hour stream yesterday, so that's yeah. why we're late. We're late. <laughs> Sorry about it. Um, yeah, if you like this video, uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Um, ring the notification bell. There are so many charities right now um, that are raising money for the Asian American community in light of what has happened. And if you do have anything to give, if you have anything that you can spare right now, uh, mm -hmm. I know the economy is a little tough, but, um, you know, we all got our stimmies. So, uh... Um, if you have anything extra, there, there are people in need right now, and there is a community of people who are hurting right now, um, more so than the community at large. Uh, and it is important for us to take care of our Asian uh, and Asian American brothers and sisters in this time, because uh, it's, it's been a really hard week on a lot of people, but it's been hardest on them. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, they deserve a lot more support than they're getting. Yeah. And um, yeah, uh, I think that's the most important thing to leave this on at the moment. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we will see you guys next week. Yeah. Do something nerdy tonight. Bye. Bye.